Hey cutie pies, it's Melody here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about a color I received a review. Um, it's a color that I got from Darling Cat Boutique on Etsy and it is a color, a uh, custom that I made. Um, I ordered it a couple months ago um, so it did take a little bit because of the fact that I was waiting on her to get her webby to make it bondage proof. Um, which was not a problem because I was so not disappointed. Like, I drew the collar out, I completely designed it, customized it. She was awesome, awesome to work with. Um, I know she has a release coming out um, for like Halloween collars that are going to be coming out, some bondage proof, some not. So, I'm really excited uh, to have finally gotten my collar from her and just, yes. So, let's get straight into um, this review. So, I got a purple, I made a purple collar. So I got a lavender purple collar um, with white um, lace and then a white ribbon detailing and a, a large white bow. I also got a um, customized, she went and got uh, me an amethyst for it as well, a wire wrapped amethyst. And then it also has the bell. And this was actually the collar um, that I got for my collaring ceremony um, with my master. So I was collared um, yesterday night, the night before, I think the night before. Um, so I'm officially a collared kitten. Um, and then it also came with this lock. I don't know if you can completely see it. Uh, and it has a little lock right there, and it's uh, just a black heart. She did have a couple other colors, um, but I really like the black just because it would go with anything. And it came with um, two of these little keys. <laughs> two of these little keys um, to unlock it. So if you lose one, you have a second one. Um, and it unlocks super easily. Um, And then so up close, sorry, I'm um, on my bed. So. Let's see. so there's the bow, and then close up of the amethyst. Sorry, it's causing like this weird glare with the left. So the so amethyst, and then the bow. Very sturdy, um, and it doesn't come. Um, these aren't D rings; they're like I don't know what they're called, but they're square. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these are completely square um, at the end, which I don't mind actually. I don't mind it at all. Uh, I don't have like a preference for square versus like a regular D ring. Um, and then on the inside, completely bondage proof. Um, the seam on it was really nice. Um, I have had this um, for probably about a week or two now, and I have noticed that there is um, fraying where um, where the webbing and like the end of the collar were sewn. I think it's only because I'm assuming that a lighter wasn't taken to it um, to kind of like seal it off. So that's all it would need. Um, so I'll probably do that or just trim it up. So that's the only, only issue that I've had with it so far is just the, um, that webbing kind of coming apart right there. And then it's doing it a little bit on this side as well. But that's not too bad. It's not like a huge deal breaker. Um, other than that, um, I did, as soon as I got it, I did a tug test on it just to make sure that it was completely like going to hold up and be bondage proof. And when I went like this, um, the little um, ringing, the ring that the bell and the 
amethyst was attached to, it like, the ring popped off and both of these popped off. Um, so I have a jewelry making kit that I have that I make jewelry and stuff and sell it sometimes. So um, I had some rings that I just threw it back on and um, clamped it back together. Um, so that was the only other thing, but it's really like her fault. It was just the ring that was used. Um, and then other than that, I don't think there's any other real issues with this. Like it's gorgeous. The sewing, the seams are so pretty. It's exactly what I drew. Um, I'll have to input a picture of the drawing that I submitted to her um, for the collar design. But it is just so freaking gorgeous. It was crazy seeing it come to life and so worth the wait. Um, she does make, um, along with custom collars, she does make, um, I know she makes ears and she makes tails as well. Um, she'll make those custom as well. And I know she's due for a release pretty soon of a bunch of different collars, which I'm super excited about. She actually had some that were like Edgar Allan Poe related, um, specifically to The Raven, which is like my favorite poem. He's one of my just favorite writers in general, so I'm really, really excited and looking forward to that. Um, so this is, I'll show you real quick what it looks like on. I can't put it on myself because um, only master's allowed to put it on me. the bell on it it's like makes the perfect amount of ringing for me like I like really noisy bells but I don't know I wear this all the time and like out in public because I don't like being obnoxiously loud just subtle enough so it's a really like the perfect sound um, and it just makes me happy when I jingle um, so that is this um, I would definitely say like an eight and a half out of ten only because of the frame Maybe a 9 out of 10 just because of the frame. Like, I just, I adore her stuff. And she was so quick to reply. Like, wonderful, wonderful customer service. Definitely, I will be ordering from her probably, like, forever. <laughs> like, she's one of my favorite shops so far. Um, so, yeah, I definitely would recommend checking her out. I know she always has some really cool and innovative stuff coming out. Um, and I'll probably hopefully be getting another custom from her um, when I get the money to kind of make one with her. I like to make uh, like design collars. Like I do a lot of um, collar design and like drawing of concepts um, that I like to do that are really innovative and that I haven't really seen. Um, and so it's nice because she's always really open to those ideas. So I'm really excited to like watch my own ideas and customs come to life um, when I talk to her. So that is definitely something I want to do. and I had everything set up to do so and I forgot to press record. So I do have um, a, a tiny video of that it's on my Instagram actually of just like how I had like our candles and my collar set up on our mantle um, but I didn't get the actual ceremony captured. It was a very quick ceremony too like maybe five ten minutes it wasn't anything like extravagant we did it at home so if you guys are interested in me making like an additional video just about coloring ceremonies um, or like talking about my coloring ceremony, what we did, what we didn't do, um, why we chose to do certain things and not, um, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will um, definitely get that video made for you guys. Um, and then any other video requests or reviews you want me to do from like a certain shop or any recommendations for shops or if there's a specific like BDSM to topic you want me to talk about or like um, pet play, kitten play topic related, um, please go ahead, comment. I will do see what I can do. Follow me on Instagram. The link will be below, which I'm most active on and more vocal um, with you guys on. And um, for this shop, I will also leave her links to her Instagram and to her shop below as well, so you can go check her out. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, and I will see you cuties in my next video.